How about Kenya? Loan iko. In fact, nowadays you can't even say that you loan. Loan iko. Every corner you make loan. Gorofa, pita kando kidogo loan. Any alle loan. Aya, you can get to online easy. Even Facebook, you know what I use? Apps. Fuliza, Ruto Pia Mekuja Nai Aslayake. So it means loans are everywhere. But no, there's one funny thing about these loans that are now available everywhere. Inafanya some of us are very wary about them. Unapata mtu anachukua loan ya half a million. By the end of maybe eight months, Jamaa amesha liba 1.5 million. Lakini bara bara wanataka kuchukua gari. <laughs> Sasa unashanga hili ona ina gari yenye like what what um, interest rates are you guys being charged? Mnaka chini kweli mkiangalia the terms that you guys are accepting for these loans or you just go there and you are so desperate that you take the money regardless of the conditions that are attached to the loan. Because I've always wondered, is it that Kenyans do not look at the conditions? Ama what when feature terms and conditions, or they just brutal people, especially the Shylocks, or they just brutal people who are operating outside of the law? Because since I come a rural men, the other day I was reading this um, article about uh, rural men and picky picky loans. Picky picky, and you cannot know at its market rate, in also a hundred thousand. By the time that Maliza kulipa picky picky. Amelipa piki piki moja 300k. And some of these people, how na mbele wala nyuma, they have no jobs, they have very small pieces of land, they have no capital to do anything, so they have to take these loans so that they can uh, go ride their bikes, make money and and repay. So even with these absurdities, somehow easy loans but they are, they are a good option for most people. Eh, but me nasema, I, I think it's important for us to go to the back end and figure out exactly the terms of a loan. Or, jaribu fanya na yule shailo kafadhali. Afadhali, mi siji kama kuna shailo kafadhali kwa hii dunia. <laughs> because everywhere I'm gone. Shailo ni shailo too. Awe mkisi, awe mkikuyu ni shailo. Where I live, there's another one, a woman. She's so brutal that before you, after, before you even know who is behind the whole thing, unuza fikira ni mwanaume, but she's a lady. Ukisikia vitu nafanyia watu hapo, hapo kwa hiyo town, I will not say which town but she's a woman. So I don't know what is happening. Probably serikali na kaku I don't know. But loans, it is getting out of hand and something needs to be done because these things are ruining lives real time. Hey, I love Juzi. Story I don't want to be sued. I don't have money, so I will not mention names. There's one of these companies that gives... um motorbikes on loan. So apparently, they only like customers that pay for long periods because it means they get more out of it. What they do is they, they organize thieves, thugs, to attack you and steal the motorbike from you. And the number of cases that have been forwarded are so many that it is, it is beginning to look convincing. It is beginning to sound convincing. Sasa wale watu wakona traka kwa motorbike because whenever you're being you're given a loan on this motorbike inawekewa traka ndi usipote na ayo. But somehow the moment it has been stolen under very convenient circumstances now the tracker is not working. Lakini jaribu tu kudefault hivi na upote na hiyo pikipiki. Traka inafanya kazi. The moment imeibiwa traka sasa haifanyi. So Kenyans are, are at the mercy of I don't know. They're at the mercy of Shylocks and loan sharks. And it's getting out of hand. Something needs to be done and it needs to be done. Asap. Na just to check at you because it's funny. Some of these people are our brothers, they're our neighbors. They tell these stories in very comical ways. But at the end of the day, these things affect their lives. And sometimes, our two, when they're in a group, they feel cushioned because they have so many similar stories in a group. So the stories cushion them. But when you begin to isolate these people with their problems one by one and how much these loans are costing them, ndi unajua hapa iko shida.